you and Bash this this weekend. I know that's game Thursday, but just could you talk about having the Bash on Saturday and just what this means to you and the team? Yeah, I mean it's incredibly meaningful, right? That. Um, Number one, they'd want to do something like this for, for me, I guess, in my name, which is kind of crazy. Um, less surprising, they'd want to do it for the girls. And, and I really hope that people show up and can reciprocate um, what this group really means, you know, to the community, what the community means to them. And I think to have this place rock in would uh, be really uh, a lifetime memory for some of these kids. Um, and I think it would, would really mean a lot to them. Yeah, and it's um, against Santa Barbara who got you guys last time, so it makes it a little bit bigger as well. So just how just how do you think the team will, will handle it and just everything going on and, and knowing that this is a team that they, they need to be? I think they're excited about the opportunity to have a, a really good crowd in here and have it be our sixth man. And I know against you know the, the Irvine, we had about I think, 1,500, 1,600 people in here and it, it was loud and it was fun. Uh, and ch chanting defense and you know talking to the kids and talking to the other team and just the environment that you want to play in front of. Uh, the fact that it's Santa Barbara and they got us early on, um, I think that you know we told the girls the first time we played them this year that they had that circled on the calendar because of what we did to them in the Big West Conference Tournament Championship. I think we've got it circled on our calendar now. So I think that even with all the excitement and going on, uh, we will be ready to play. Uh, first, though, we have Thursday, absolutely. And we're not overlooking Cal, you know, Cal Poly slow by any means. And to that point, you know, Cal Poly, UCSB, and a handful of other teams are, you know, within a game or two of first place along mm -hmm. with yourselves. How important is this last stretch of the season going, you know, towards that tournament date? You want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year. It doesn't mean you're not going to have a hiccup, but you want to be playing your best basketball. And we know how tight the upper, uh, you know, echelon of this conference is at this point. And so there is no room for slippage. Um, if we happen to lose a game, we're going to keep pushing. You know, we know what our end goal is, is to try to win the conference and to try to win the tournament. So regardless of what happens, we're going to keep pushing like we always do. But we understand the magnitude of each one of these games, both home and on the road. Right now, we've been able to sweep at home, and we need to get a sweep on the road just to give a little separation, and hopefully someone else has a hiccup. Um, I don't think any of these, these young women or myself are the type of person that want help. We want to do it ourselves. And so we need to take care of our business, particularly when we're supposed to. What have you kind of just seen out of the girls? You know, Saturday was a tough loss, but just kind of what was the mood like coming back home, and what have you kind of seen of them as you get ready for Thursday? I don't think they take anything too big or make anything too small. I think they keep it in perspective. And as a coaching staff, we are keeping things in perspective. It wasn't like a blow you up locker room after Davis. It was, we didn't play well, guys. We were fatigued mentally and physically. It showed. Uh, we've got to figure that out a little bit, but that travel was really difficult to fly all the way to San Diego and then fly all the way up to Davis and have very little you know, recovery time from a 7 o'clock Thursday to a 2 o'clock Saturday. Um, people can say that Davis did the same thing, but they didn't have a 2,500 mile flight on the front side. So it's, it's very different. Um, we're, not, we're not taking things out of perspective. We're not taking things out of context. We, we lost the game. We're gonna get better. We have some strategies that we're gonna use in practice this week to get us better. Um, we will show up ready to play Thursday and Saturday, I promise you that. How far back or uh, what was, the, was there like a specific origin of the, the bash thing, the idea for this Saturday and uh, how did that come about? You know, Eric talked to me about that. Gosh, it might have been into last year, summertime. And he said, hey, I've got this idea. And I was like, okay, Eric's got great ideas. So I was like, let's do it, whatever you do. And I, did I really believe it was going to kind of happen? I, I just kind of put it in the back of my head. That's not my, it's above my pace, my pace scale. So I let other people do the smart things. Um, and then when he said, hey, coach, this is really getting some traction. We're going to do it. Uh, you know, for the kids, I think it's super exciting, and what we're going to do with those uniforms is really exciting. Um, and I, I, again, I, I think that I don't want to say they deserve it. I, I know they want it, um, and they've been a really big part of this community. So it'd be great to see that, like I said, reciprocated back. Um, so they're excited. So yeah, it was, it's been a while in the making, that's for sure. I imagine a perfect weekend is you, know, you get the win on Thursday, you, you head into Saturday, you get the, the win over Santa Barbara, and then you set the attendance mm. record with all the people. Thanks, I appreciate that. In. Go ahead, put that out there, like you know, the commentators <laughs> I mean, like, say, you know, she hasn't missed a free throw. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I mean, I can imagine that it's probably gone through your mind that that would be a, just an amazing weekend and a way to, you know, the, the best of everything to be able to get the win and set an attendance record. And, and that's obviously the purpose of this whole bash. But could you just talk about, I mean, what that would feel like if, if, if all things go right. I mean, that, that's something that would certainly 
be a, a real memory in, in this season? You know, honestly, and I don't know if you're going to believe me or not, I haven't thought about like that trifecta. I've, I've thought about what we need to do to get through slow on Thursday. I know the girls are going to be ready for that. I know the girls are going to be ready for Saturday. If all of those things happen, ask me after that, you know, <laughs> at a Santa Barbara game, and I'm sure I'd be emotional about it because that would be really special for everybody that's involved with this program and, you know, what we've been trying to build here, you know, to put women's basketball and continue to put women's basketball on the map in the state of Hawaii where it means a lot to people, it means a lot to these young ladies, would be really special. But I do not allow myself to go to Saturday after the game. I have to stay with practice today. So I stay focused, you know, try to put out the fires that we've got going on right now because there's always fires to put out. Um, and just stay really in the moment because that's what I ask these girls to do all the time. Stay within our process, stay within the moment, stay within each possession. And so I really try to practice that. Um, so ask me Saturday after the game if what, ha what, you, what you want to have happen, happen. We'll see. <laughs> uh, last thing for me, Coach, just you played everyone once, you're getting down to the stretch run. Can you just describe the, the competitiveness that the Big West has been? Uh, this season because it's 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 pretty well. Yeah, you know, conference play is conference play, and you know you can have upsets on any given night, and we've seen that. Um, I think that it's been fun to see some teams that maybe have been kind of in the bottom of the pack raise their level, and, and now we have more competition um, up in that one through five where you have two or three teams battling for first, two or three teams battling for second. Uh, so. I think the conference is doing a great job of elevating play. I think it's really good um, preparation for the tournament, really good preparation for the postseason tournaments, that your conference is always challenging you, that games you always have to come in with a strategy and a game plan. So I'm not surprised. Um, I'm happy that there's not just one or two teams up top and everyone else is kind of fighting for fifth and sixth. Um, so I think it just shows that the Big West is really kind of growing its game, growing the sport. And, you know, Commissioner Butterly is doing a great job of kind of putting us in a position to be successful and hopefully will be a two-team, you know, bid, not just, you know, the, the AQ. All right, Imani, um, it looks like it's going to be a dogfight. Uh, seven games to go, there's about five teams within a game of first place. Just how do you kind of feel about where you guys are at going into the stretch run? Um, I think our team's in a pretty good place so far. Um, we've worked hard to get to this position and stay in this position. So I just think uh, we have to keep up over there. Um, I know you guys got a game Thursday, but there's this big thing they're trying to market Saturday for you guys to get a really big crowd in here. Maybe just I'll give you the opportunity to kind of sell your team. Why should people come out on Saturday and why should they come check you guys out? I think, well, everyone should come out. It's supporting um, uh, not only that, but we're a great group of uh, women that love to play basketball for uh, this state. And we also have a great coach and it would be great to make history. Yeah. What would it just mean to you to see this place, you know, semi filled up uh, this week? Uh, for me personally, I feel like it'd be really good to be part of something big like this. Um, it's definitely new for me and I think it'd be a big thing for the team in general just to be a part of something for everyone to experience. Uh, Imani, what do these two opponents this week present to you guys in terms of challenges? They're, you know, right there, basically a game behind you guys in the standings. They're both really good teams. They play uh, different styles, uh, so I think our team just has to prepare here and practice, um, get ready for two different styles of play, and just uh, play how to play Hawaii basketball. What, uh, what, what were some things that you guys took away from this last road trip? Um, you know, the positives and, and some of the negatives. What were some of the things that you guys keyed in on after going um, on this road trip? Um, well, a positive, we did split the road trip, but um, I think we definitely have some things to work on. Offensively, defensively, there's always room for improvement. Um, we always talk with our coaches about things that we can work on, talk to each other. Um, I think it's really just about staying together and um, doing the little things. Can you just talk about that matchup against Santa Barbara? Uh, obviously, uh, they got the better of you guys the, the first time around, but um, you know it's still a rematch of last year's uh, tournament championship, and, and uh, uh, a lot of emotions obviously go through. through I mean, there's a lot of emotions in basketball, but um, with UC Santa Barbara, I just think they came out with a different intensity, and um, we just have to be ready this time, more prepared. Uh, I mean, every team's going to give us their best.